Gente, senhoras! Welcome to Lisbon, welcome to Portugal. How are you? Hi, how are you? I'm Pedro. Hey, hey beautiful lady. Hey beautiful lady. Hey, my guy. <laughs> how are you? Welcome. Oh, oh, I'm having hugs. Oh, I'm having hugs. Oh, Alexandra Riba, I'm just hugging. I'm hugging. Welcome. Hey, Sonia, welcome back to your vision. Yeah, I think, I think it's your chair. Thank you. My name is Sonia. Oh, you can start. Let's introduce everyone here. You want to help us? You want to help us? No, help me. Okay. What do you want to know? No, introduce yourself. To introduce everybody. Yeah. You don't know that. Oh, of course. Sonia. Okay, yeah. okay. Oh, I, sorry. I was going to with him, but... From the left to the right. Beautiful Nevena. <laughs> Beautiful Eva. I have to explain you. In the last moment, we decided that, uh, Eva to come in the group and to take my place. Because, you know, uh, singing is alive and the playing is on playback. <laughs> so I will be somewhere in the green room, or I don't know, doesn't matter, or in the public, in the audience, and Eva will be on the stage. For the first time with Balkanica. Oh. And Mladen, beauty Mladen, <laughs> <laughs> our percussion in Balkanica, Sale, he's also a percussion player in Belgrade Philharmonic Orchestra. Mm -hmm. yeah. And one of the best, but for me, the best voice, ethno voice in Balkan, on Balkan, Danica. Danica. And my good friend from music school, Professor Ljuba. Yeah. Now he has a new name, Professor Einstein. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we were in Israel and we were in Amsterdam and Ljuba was in Belgrade and everybody says, where is Mr. Einstein? Where is Professor Einstein? So, Einstein is here. So, let's start. Let's start. I'm sorry, Mr. sorry, Einstein. but one man is missing. The main man, the brain of this operation, mm -hmm. spreading love in Europe, Sanya Ilic. You know, like a family. I can feel the good vibe here. So, this is not your first Eurovision. You were in Harrogate in AB2, if I'm not mistaken. Hello. 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 And now you're back. Sorry, but this is Sonia. Oh. Okay. Yeah, oh. I'm Sonia. That's what I was seeing. I, I was in Harrogate. And I think it's impossible. It's, it's totally impossible. But it, was, it, it was very And now it's young. not. And I was having like a fight backstage. No, no, it's him. No, it's not. It's him. No, it's him. No, it's not. It's him. And yes. Okay, I'll it's... do that. You're the boss, but whatever. <laughs> So, you were there in Harrogate? Yes, 1982. It was a beautiful show for that period. And we enjoyed that two weeks in a beautiful old town in England. And it is, how to explain, very similar like today. Very everything, similar? Yeah, everything is the same. The songs are good. People love each other, good atmosphere. The difference is because the orchestra played alive. You missed the orchestra in your vision? No, because today is a different, different no. time. Uh, we couldn't make that uh, uh, sound alive. So I think that it, it is a good idea to be on playback, and, but singing alive. And actually, I know you have a, a Portuguese version of this, of your song. How do you know it? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Somebody told me. <laughs> but this yeah. one they told me right. I'm not. I'm yes. not lying. We 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 prepare that for myself someday la later. But we can. Oh please. We can see. Please. I know I don't use the technique and new generation. <laughs> That's but, but not on playback, it will be alive. Okay, Mladen. You want intonation? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Let's go. Mundo é nosso tempo, coro lento, porque tu estás aqui. O mundo é nosso, abraço um dia, não que te acorda e sorri. O mundo ganha a cor, brilha nosso sol de amor. O mundo é nosso, uma criança nova vai pintar o mundo. scooter, a new one, so <laughs> uh, his new one still, but I'm not the, the old one, yeah. I'm the new one, <laughs> so yeah, now, now it's okay, it hurts a little bit, but this is Eurovision, we, do, we won't talk about the bad thing, okay. so, or, of course, we will talk about uh, Nova Deza, uh, new children, because uh, your song, your song, your song, your song is about the uh, new children, it's about the future, Children are children are future. To what's the message of the song? Who wants to talk about that? Maybe the one who wrote it. I don't know. I, I have to say something. Um, yeah. The idea of that lyrics came from my wife Tatiana. She is here, Woo. and we composed Hello. we composed that uh, song together. And maybe one minute I will give her microphone to tell us the idea and the message because she will better explain everything. Oh, come on, come on, okay. say it. you want to come here? Well, oh, Diana. Diana. Oh. Hello, you want to join us? Come on, come in. It was great, there's an unfortunate. <laughs> and I heard that one of the girls can whistle the song. Also, is it true? One of you whistles the, the song, isn't that true? Who's the one? I am. Ah, oh, a little like whistle. Like this, <laughs> and like this. Oh, oh the gentle. And I will say, welcome aboard. Thank you very much. Hi. So what was the question? <laughs> the message, the message about uh, Nova Dets and new children. Yeah. The yeah. story of the song. Story. Well, the story is long, but, but this, to make story long story short, uh, the message is actually uh, the mission of love and uh, if you go into the state of love then you, can, yeah, then you can create a new world and this is actually how you make children <laughs> you have to be in state of love to, in order to make a new world so uh, there is uh, actually a deeper story about that because there is actually a scientific proof about that uh, because uh, scientists are uh, all over the world finding that we have uh, very new generations in the last uh, 10, 20 years in the uh, whole world. There is no any nation or any language, nothing is important, everywhere is happening that. And uh, we have a more genetically improved children in the world. Uh, so uh, that is the proof that the world is definitely, definitely coming into the better state. Uh, no matter, uh, they telling us that the planet is destroyed, that there is a lot of pollution, that people are too much on computers, but actually uh, all those children now, today, who are using those computers and they are saying that that's not the right thing to do, they are those new children. So yeah, everyone, so every children now who is watching Eurovision mm -hmm. contest, they are new children. So everyone are so okay. So it's a positive thing. Yeah, it's a positive thing. And actually there is just positive thing in this planet. Depends are you want to see it or yeah. not. The way you look at it. Yeah. yeah. And we want to spread the world. Look at to love and you will create love. Oh, great message. Thank you very, very much.
Thank you very much. Wow. Now, question. Hello. Hi, honey. How are you? Thank you very much. Now it's your time. Yes, over here, please. Have a chair. <laughs> Hello, Stefan is United. Yes, thank you for coming. So let's go down to business. Uh, can you explain the concept of your performance? Because people are saying like you look like Greek gods and like you're from Serbia. You're not from Greece. Serbian gods. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a bit um, crossover between uh, old tradition and the new one. You can see the ropes. It's a connection between generations before and now. So it's not Greek, Greek goddesses, it's just dresses, uh, just goddess, goddesses, you know, but not Greek. Uh, and uh, we chose the Greek goddesses, if you want, like that, because they're prettiest, you know. So we have the prettiest girl here. And uh, uh, you have some mixes of, of uh, a lot of uh, influences from Balkan. You can see the, also the robes and the, my costume is uh, everything. So it's just costumes. Thank you. Next question. Over here. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Copper uh, just did na na odlično nastupu. My name is Alexander Istić from ESC Serbia. Um, quite a few people in the press uh, center said that your choreography uh, looked like Charlie's Angels. So, what was the inspiration behind your choreography? Thank you. Wants to answer that. They are angels every day. <laughs> Why not on the stage? I think that our song needs to be covered with that angels every day. And in the future, uh, why not? It was the first idea and continue with that idea till the end. Angels, beautiful thing. That's a, that's a metaphor, I think it is. And they are, they are Come on. I'm not the angel. Oh. <laughs> I'm, the angel. Sorry. No, I'm not an angel. We are, an mixture. Angel we are a mixture of different energies. Yes, we came uh, yesterday very late <laughs> and we had a rehearsal very early this morning and I think tomorrow our angels will have more of love. And more laughing, please. We are laughing all day. Now, Everywhere. You have a good energy. Yes. From tomorrow, everything will be much more with angels. No, it's a good energy here. I feel the good energy. It's a good, good energy. Next question. Yeah. Hi, I'm Farouk Vallet from France, from Cocorico Vision magazine. Uh, I like very much the Balkanic songs. I discovered them with Eurovision. I like the voices, the music, uh, the language. How do you explain such success of Balkanic songs in Eurovision. We have one victory of Serbia, you, there was a success of Zeko Zuximovic and many other songs. How do you explain that people enjoy this style in Eurovision? Well, that's a good question, thank you. Yeah, I think uh, Serbian la language is really melodic, so uh, just because of that we choose to sing in Serbian. Uh, I, I read a lot of comments below the, the, our, uh, our video. And everybody's like, uh, oh my god, just singing Serbian is such a beautiful language. So uh, our uh, main thing is uh, to sing in Serbian because of that, you know, to show the beauty of our language. So we hope in years uh, every country will sing on their own language because this is the competition of many countries and every country is going with the best they have the best best thing first thing is the language so i think i think that this might be one message for all of us if we have one language or two we are poor so please please support your own tradition and language thank you
I'm not the angel still. <laughs> Next question. Over there, please. Thank you. Hi, Alistair Birch from Eurofile. My question is for Sanya. You've mentioned Harrogate, but you've been uh, attempted to enter Eurovision several times. I'd like to go back to 1968, if I might, to Yuga Vizia. Um, do you remember anything or much about that experience? And what's so special about Eurovision for you? Uh, I was uh, 1982 in Harrogate. Are you talking about that? Yugovizia. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> well, remember oh, that. Time ago. 1968. Oh, I remember. You I was very young. <laughs> and it was my first composition in Yugoslavian competition. And very famous Yugoslavian singer Lola Novakovic sang my song. And it was good position, I think, third or fourth. Third, thank you. <laughs> uh, the difference is, I was very young, and I stayed in Belgrade. They didn't want to take me in Skopje. Uh, Ra Radio Belgrade uh, went with the uh, directors and singer, and I don't know who, but I stayed in Belgrade and I look on TV. It was okay for me. I was very surprised because you have 16 years and you have song on competition, so, 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 so huge competition. And you know, today I'm happier because I'm here with you, with my group, with all that beautiful people in that beautiful town, in that beautiful country, and uh, who knows, maybe in 20 or 30 years I will decide to go again. <laughs> but Chief, <laughs> you're, you're, you're still young, Chief. Of course. You call him Chief? No, just, ah. no, just here now. Ah, okay. Just okay, for okay, me, okay, because that. he said you have to call me. You have to. It's like a... Okay, okay, it's a hierarchy. I understand Sorry. that. I understand that. Next question. Please. Hello, I'm Tveta Chandarova from EurovisionBulgaria.com and your, your song is about the future, about a better world. So can, can each of you name one thing which will make our world better? Oh, Thank good. you. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's a challenge. That's a very, very good question. One Thank you very much for that. Things. Yes. The first one that pops up. Well, I think that I already said mine. Uh, the mine is love. I think that nothing more is important. Love. Next one. Next one. Honesty. Honesty. Love, honesty. To do good things to other people. I think that's really important. Yeah. I think we need only peace. Smile. Goodness. Positivity. I to be positive. Always. Sunny. I'm pragmatic with any kind of criminal. Really. Without everything, but not a criminal. It will be the better one. That's a good cocktail over here. Yeah. That's, that's what I need. Okay. Last question, please. Yes. Right here in the front row. Here they are, the mics. Thank you. Hello, um, I'm Pedro from Eurovisionary. And my question has to do with the group itself. You mentioned that um, the creation of the group has to do with preserving your culture. Uh, why do you feel the need of doing that? Do you feel like the Serbian culture, for example, is losing itself in your own country or culture? Or? No, I think I think that it's not only Serbian culture. You no, know? it, it's it's Balkan. It's it's a very strange it's a very strange thing to 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 talk about it. But my 
personal opinion is that uh, ex-U or ex-Yugoslavia countries, they have the same tradition. So uh, Serbian song and Serbian tradition or Serbian band like Balkanic is not only Serbian. It's like Balkan band, it's like European band and with the message we, are, we want to spread love, it's universal. Thank you very much.